Hey, one of the secrets I've learned is when you're dealing with other people, especially your customers, a lot of people make this mistake. They try to make the interaction all professional. Now, I want to encourage you to make the interaction personal. If I'm going to build a relationship with you, I need to build a relationship with you personally before I can build a relationship with you professionally. And that's backwards to what most people think. They go in talking about business and then they start trying to build a personal relationship. But you remember the, I don't know if y'all have ever read some of the stuff, but some of the old sales guys would go into a guy's office and look around his office and go, okay, his kid's into football, you know, his daughter's into gymnastics, you know, his wife rides horses. And we'd talk about all that. And that's really a good idea. I got to like you, you know? And then once I start developing this relationship with you personally, and then we start talking professionally and we start coming to a point where maybe we can do some business professionally, then what keeps the relationship going and strong is all the personal pieces. It's like taking me to the ball game or taking you somewhere fishing or something like that. Those kind of things, because I know you like to fish, those are the kind of things that people go, wow, thank you. I really appreciate that. I, in other words, I'm really, my wife and I love the Braves last night. Somebody took us to the Braves game and we were like, yes, that's cool. That made that relationship stronger because that was something that this person knew that was important to me personally, not professionally. And so when you're there and you're working on relationships personally, it gives you a really good chance to then develop a professional relationship. Yes, your price has got to be good. Yes, you've got to deliver. Yes, you know, you got to take care of business. But think about this. Like I've got a friend that owns a restaurant and I know him personally and I know him professionally. And because I know him really well personally and I know about some of the stuff that goes on in the restaurant, struggling to keep help, struggling to keep food costs down, blah, blah, blah. If I go in that restaurant and I have a bad meal, I'm not going to fire him because of that, because I have a personal relationship with him. That means that I understand that maybe he's he wasn't there to serve me himself, that some of the the kid that came and served me didn't bring me the right food or wasn't there to fill up my tea. Yeah, I think you understand what I'm talking about is that if you know that person personally, you're not going to fire them as quickly professionally. And so I think that's really important when you're trying to build relationships with people, you're trying to really go deeper and make it better. I call it, it's kind of the way you build a moat around your business is there's, there's that personal care about the other person that owns that business. You know about their family, you know about what's going on in their life. So therefore it's deeper and they're not going to just fire you because you didn't make a delivery on time or because, you know, you told them the price was X and it ended up being X. They're not going to get rid of you because of that. So don't spend so much time selling and talking about your product. Spend a little bit more time trying to go deeper with that person that you're trying to build a relationship with and really getting to know what makes them tick. And things that make them tick are things with their family, things that are going on with them personally in their world, their hobbies. Those kind of things are the places where you want to spend some time really learning about who they are. So make it personal first, because if you do, then they're less apt to fire you professionally. If you like that, give me a call. I'd love to come in and talk to your company about how they can do that better. Because if you do that better, you're going to have better sales.